Today's motors are increasingly driven via electronic controls, which offer better control of speed, position, and torque, as well as much greater efficiency, rather than via direct connection to their source of power, whether AC or DC. To do this, the motor control circuit must switch the current flow to the motor's coils, on and off quickly, with minimal switching time. That's where MOSFET and IGBT are used. Both of these semiconductor devices serve the needs of motor drive and power control, each is better suited in some application situations. DC motor speed control is carried out by use of four-quadrant chopper drive. Insulated gate bipolar transistors are used for speed control of the motor. The insulated gate bipolar transistor is a bipolar transistor, also a three-terminal device, but with an emitter and collector as connections for the current path being controlled. Like the MOSFET, IGBT has a gate to control that path. As a bipolar device, it's very difficult to build an IGBT on a standard metal oxide semiconductor IC process, thus, IGBTs are discrete devices. The IGBT combines the simple gate drive of a field effect transistor with the high current, high voltage handling capability of the bipolar transistor. Note that many IGBT circuits also need a reverse blocking anti-parallel diode which cannot be fabricated with the IGBT, so the IGBT plus diode combination is often co-packaged and offered as a single module. Single-ended topologies such as boost PFC power supplies do not need this diode and use an IGBT alone. The drive current needed at the gate to turn on either device varies, but is typically about 10% of the rated current of the device. In addition, for safety, electrical compatibility with low voltage digital signals, or to float the upper device's driver, the path must often include galvanic isolation between the digital output of the controller's processor and the driver's circuit. In general, when comparing MOSFETs and IGBTs, the former offers higher switching speeds, higher peak current, and a wider safe operating area. But their conduction is strongly dependent on temperature and voltage rating. As the voltage rating goes up, the reverse recovery performance of their integral diode deteriorates, increasing switching losses. IGBTs are available with higher current ratings, and are rugged, but have slower switching speed, their lack of an internal reverse recovery diode means you must find an IGBT co-packaged with a diode matched to your application. The insulated gate bipolar transistor's triggering is carried out by use of pulse width modulation converters under various loading conditions and by varying armature voltage and field voltage. DC motors are used extensively in adjustable speed drives and position control applications. Their speeds below the base speed can be controlled by armature voltage control. Speeds above the base speed are obtained by field flux control. A speed control method for DC motors are simpler and less expensive than those for the AC motors. DC motors are preferred where wide speed range control is required. DC choppers also provide variable DC output voltage from a fixed DC input voltage. The chopper circuit used can operate in all the four quadrants of the voltage current plane. The output voltage and current can be controlled both in magnitude as well as in direction so the power flow can be in either direction. The four-quadrant chopper is widely used in reversible DC motor drives. By applying chopper it is possible to implement regeneration and dynamic braking for DC motors. Since most loads are inductive in nature, which subjects devices to higher stresses, the turn-on and turn-off transients of the IGBT are obtained with an inductive load test circuit. The load inductance is assumed to be high enough so as to hold the load current constant during switching transitions. 
The flywheeling clamp diode is required to maintain current flow in the inductor when the device under test is turned off. The safe operating area of a power semiconductor device is a graphical representation of the maximum operational voltage and current limits of the device subjected to various constraints. The forward bias safe operating area and the reverse bias safe operating area represent the device safe operating area with the gate emitter junction forward biased or reverse biased, respectively. IGBTs are voltage control devices and require gate voltage to establish collector to emitter conduction. Recommended gate drive circuitry includes substantial ion and off biasing. Due to the large input gate to emitter capacitance of IGBTs, MOSFET drive techniques can be used. However, the off biasing needs to be stronger. A 15V positive gate drive is normally recommended to guarantee full saturation and limit short circuit current. A negative voltage bias is used to improve the IGBT immunity to collector to emitter injected noise and reduce turnoff losses. The value of the gate resistance has a significant impact on the dynamic performance of IGBTs. A smaller gate resistance charges and discharges the IGBT input capacitance faster reducing switching times and switching losses. However, a small gate resistance can lead to oscillations between the IGBT input capacitance and the parasitic lead inductance. Within many applications, the gate drive circuitry needs to be isolated from the control circuit to provide the level shifting and improve noise immunity. The isolation requirements can be met by using pulse gate transformers or optical isolation. In bipolar applications, separate turn-on and turn-off gate resistors are used to prevent cross-conduction of an IGBT pair. Opto-isolation, an isolated power supply is required to provide the gate power to the IGBT. Thank you for joining me in this tutorial and remember to subscribe for future updates.